Immortals, Phoenix Rising. That's a those are the words. Uh, ben and Jan. Hello. Hello. Oh, we're also words. Yeah, yeah. Ben, Jan, Phoenix. All words. Immortals, all names. Ben Rising. Jan Mortals. Jeff Riesling. No, that's a wine. Yeah. I'm just making more. Reese Davies. Yes, John. Phoenix Reese Davies. Is that is that something? Is that something? Uh, no, is. is that something? Is. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's so fun to... Go ahead. this game is out. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it, you know, it's like uh, so. I was, I was writing my thing. The the thing I record for radio. I wrote about this game uh, because there wasn't much else going on, uh, and. It was it, like as I was writing it, I was like, you know, there's always a couple of games that just slip into December. And, and by the end of it, I'm like, you know, maybe they were slipping this one into December for a reason. Uh, That's not to say it's terrible. Like, I, I, I think there's some interesting stuff about it. Um, but yeah, it, it feels like uh, pretty forgettable. Uh, and, I, you know, I don't know. I, it's. It's an open world game. Uh, we'll get into it here. They're, they're going for kind of a lighthearted vibe, um, and uh, as we as we open here, this is basically uh, there's a whole prologue section. Jeez, where's the map? Um, there's a whole prologue section that takes place down here, and then you get to the central area, and it's like, okay, there are there are four gods. Go reunite them because one of them turned into a tree, or you know, or or whatever. And uh, get out there and, and make it happen. And so that's kind of where we're at. Um, uh, and, and it kind of just dumps you out and, and kind of implies you could sort of go anywhere. Yeah, they really, they really kind of kick you into it once you hit this point and unlock this this kind of hub area where you can do all your upgrades and stuff you get like six cutscenes of like okay here's the workbench yeah. you can do this and this and this and uh -huh. here's this and you can do this and this and that oh and by the way here's like 10 different objectives i don't know just go you know you played breath of the wild right just go do that yeah yeah it, it definitely is like you, you get to this one in particular i think and it's like oh you've got like this one this one i took a couple of days ago and it is apparently expired which that's okay mm. uh but like, okay, I need to. I just need Defeat to animals. Oh, okay. These are these these ones don't expire. It's just the the live tasks. But like this one's oh. expired, but they haven't put a new one in yet. I guess. I don't know. Um. And yeah, so every one of these stations in, in is another cutscene where Hermes here uh, mm -hmm. tells you about it. And uh, so this game is yeah, it's it's a this this game is about uh it's about the Greek gods. What? And uh, you're a mortal trying to save the world from Typhon, the evil snake man king thing uh, of, of myth. The Ganon-like of this game? Sure, yeah. Sure, he's perhaps. right there in the middle of the map. You can, I mean, I presume you can go up there at any time because I had like an active, uh, you know, quest. quest for it. Yeah. Um, I figure, why don't we go to this one? It's the closest. That seems like the, what they would want you to do. Yeah. Uh, so we get that on our map. Oh, so if you listen to the bombcast, this is at any point you can hold in the right stick, and this is like a thing you would normally do when you were climbing up a tower, and that's where they first show it to you is kind of when you climb the first statue. But you can do it whenever and just kind of look at stuff. And if you're finding anything worth revealing, it will eventually say reveal. Your controller will vibrate, and hey, there's a chest there. But like I can do this like. Anywhere, anywhere. I can, yeah. you know, it's like, kind of like the the newer Assassin's Creed games with your hawk or whatever, yeah. you know, scoping stuff out. Yeah, which I feel like with the hawk, you're always above it, and and it makes sense. But this is yeah. like a chest that's through some rock somewhere, <laughs> and it's just a and and you know, it's just it's kind of nonsense. Uh, yeah, sure. I do appreciate that those once you unlock something, it will be up on your HUD um, if mm -hmm. you're near it, so I don't have to like toggle back and forth between the map. Right, yeah. so it, it really leads to me just occasionally doing what we're doing here, of just like popping into this view and then just like rotating around at random, looking for <laughs> yep. vibrating controllers. And going, oh, here's a thing. Uh, oh, here's oh, that's a. There's a thing somewhere around here. Uh, yeah, yeah, and a lot of this stuff may not even be visible from wherever your vantage point yeah, is. But like, yeah, 
oh, hey, here's some ambrosia behind this tree, I think. Yeah, maybe. It also might be something you can't complete because sometimes, like Breath of the Wild, this has some, like, specific skills that let you solve puzzles and abilities, And it'll straight up tell you, like, oh, you can't go in here without right. this ability. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there are, yeah, there are, like, mythic challenges that'll be like, you don't have all of the god skills you'll need for this. Um, but, boy, it's just, you know, two things right on top of each other, but, like, maybe... Oh, no, those are literally right on top of each other. Yeah. Um, and uh, what oh. Eric Pope thinks. Ubisoft's own Eric Pope <laughs> is online. To He's say, here to give you a piece of mind. To say, why aren't you playing Hyperscape? <laughs> Did you hear they added Team Deathmatch? I heard. Uh, that sounds fun. It does. Yeah, I want to try that. that. Um, and so, yes. Yeah, so it, it's I've, a few times in my couple hours with the game, I've definitely just done this. And be like, oh, here's a thing. Um, yep. And, you know, um, Ambrosia is there, like a piece of heart to increase your overall uh, life. There's uh, items you find that will increase your stamina, which you use to climb things, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. And it's. Uh... May I say, I hate the trend, growing trend of having multiple types of currencies in a game. Yeah. Yeah. To, to juggle and upgrade stuff. Uh, what, what, what happened to good old XP bar? Yeah, right. Because well. in this, you have four different kinds of gemstones, and then you also have like, um, you know, your Adam, adamantite to right your weapon. You have ambrosia. Yeah. yeah, you have the thing for skills. I forget what it's called. Well, uh, uh, bolts of lightning. lightning bolts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So it, it, and then you know, after I do all that, I end up with like whenever I go into my mini map, I just see a zillion dumb icons, <laughs> and like if I'm not looking right at them, it doesn't tell me if it's close or not, and that's it's just right. Yeah. It, it, it's really like I mean I feel like the the best way to juggle this sort of stuff is yeah like you said kind of if you ever get to a really high point do it look around and then just like kind of ignore it um, until you see it up there on your on your hot bar yeah, yeah. Uh, one thing I do really appreciate about this game and maybe you could show it off a little bit after we get some action uh -oh. here is how customizable. It is. There's a lot of accessibility options. There's a lot of HUD stuff you can do. You can turn oh, cool. on like I've, yeah, I haven't looked at on and off pretty much any element of the HUD. Did you not um, take fall damage there, Jeff? No, I How since I have, I have the ability to glide. Uh, that's a oh. so I bought. Um, geez, oh yeah. So you're not kidding about these currencies up here. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, Charon coins. Yeah. And if I push down on the D-pad, which is very handily mapped, I can get out here to the store where I can spend real oh. money to buy uh, Immortals credit. Oh, well, apparently I can't buy Immortals credit packs just yet. Um, they do give you some, or they gave me some. Yeah, I don't know yeah, if they yeah, give you some. Well, uh, I, I think the game is technically... I'm, I'm not sure if this game is like fully out-out, or if it's out tonight uh, for tomorrow. Um, which is maybe why that store isn't populated with stuff. Um, yeah, these I have not. Okay, those are just ghost. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't I haven't even, seen those. I have not seen that before. Um, yeah, but I have seen these blue mushrooms. Hey. Um, okay. Yeah, you're saying accessibility options. Let's just. Uh, yeah. Um, and when you're starting out, like something that cool they do with the uh, difficulty. Or, here, I'll wait. But yeah, look okay. at all oh, of this yeah, stuff. Oh okay, yeah, okay, yeah. You can turn on like how many numbers you want. And oh, all that's that actually pretty yeah, neat. Yeah, all the HUD stuff. Like I turned off the active quest thing in the top right because I'm like, oh, I'll just look at my map if I need it, and like you can really make it less cluttered. Um, and when you start the game and pick a difficulty, it's really clear about like, okay, on this difficulty, you take fall damage. Uh, your recovery works to recover your current chunk of health that you're missing, but not the whole health bar. And, yeah, and like yeah. enemies are this strong or whatever. Um, uh, yeah, but the default uh, difficulty, which I'm on here, um, is like the Riddick health system of, of chunks. Yeah. I was playing on hard, and I got to say, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty decent challenge. Like, it's not... I, I felt like... I had to kind of like learn how to parry and stuff pretty early on, which I appreciate. Yeah, I you know I do like the combat in this. Yeah, it's After not bad. You're playing like a, a poop ton of Genshin Impact, and you know the combat being a little sparse in that. Yeah. Here, like the ability to parry, switch weapons. Yeah. Um, so that's uh, you have a light and a heavy, and they put them on the shoulder buttons. Um, and uh, so the light is a sword, the heavy is an axe. Uh, you can combo those together reasonably well, and you can unlock more things for them. Like, hey, if you hold down the sword button, it'll eventually do a launcher or something. Right. Um, though I have a magic launcher here that I'll use. Well, these guys might be too big for it, but let's find out. Um, and I'm, I might get this wrong. I might have gotten this wrong, but it, maybe you can clarify. The 
Heavy attacks do stamina damage. Stun Is that how damage. that works? Stun right. Damage. And if you fill up their stun bar, you'll leave them stunned, and you can just wail on them. I, uh, I believe also if you hit with your sword, you're also recovering your own stamina. Yeah. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah. Uh, that may be a perk that's like depends on which weapon you have equipped. I'm just. Oh, that's right. On top of um, a bunch of gear and currencies, you're also have. Oh boy. These bears aren't playing around. Yeah. These bears um, are here to fight. These, uh, each weapon has like different perks associated. So more damage, more stun damage, or more stamina recovery, which I, I think is neat. You could have like different builds going. Yeah. I drank a health. Yeah. So this has like a, a potion crafting system where you're, if you find 10 pomegranates, well, you could eat a pomegranate just normally and it'll give you a little bit of health back. But if you go craft a potion out of it with 10 of them, it'll give you like a full on uh, restoration. Mm -hmm. Which I feel like uh, right now the math might not work out in my favor on that. Like it might be. Oh, yeah. Especially if you can like, get it over a chunk and then wait out the health chunk recovery, you know. There you go. There we go. I, I kind of I enjoy how when you beat the last enemy of a, an encounter, he kind of balloon flies away. Yeah. Yeah. You just, you just like blast him out of existence basically. Uh, okay. <laughs> so we, oh, so we're going to the, I think we're climbing. We might be climbing this statue. The climbing in this. Okay. Right. Um, I, kind of, yeah, I don't, I don't terrible, uh, but not like as good as it's even been in other Ubisoft games like assassins. I don't like that they make you unlock the jump while you're climbing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like literally the, the first thing I did. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Especially because yeah, so you there can do a, a kind of sweet double jump. Yeah, there is a skill tree. That's how I got, like, the ability to glide and then the ability to boost on that glide. Actually, the glide is a story thing, but the, the boosted glide uh, is useful. And they say right in there, which I thought was nice of them, it says, like, Hey, if you're boost gliding, it uses less stamina than just gliding normally. Like you, it is more useful. You can cover more ground. It's not just, it's not just faster. Um, yeah, which I thought was nice for them to just point that out because that's always like, oh, I need to do the math. Is this the right way to manage my stamina or or whatever? Right. And just like uh, popping health potions, you could pop a stamina potion mid climb or mid flight. Yeah. Oh, hey, I can craft some potions here, I guess. Oh, but uh, I, I missed this one. I got. I don't miss. have enough pomegranates. Uh, and then also, yes. So there is an upgrade tree for damn near everything. Oh, and, I um, didn't know this. Yeah. So you can make the potions uh, do more things, uh, and that's what that upgrade currency is for. It's for your potion upgrades. Yeah. Yeah. A, a lot yeah. of stuff to balance. <laughs> A lot of stuff. I, but I it imagine it's just stuff you'll find or like, yeah. you know, like if yeah. you, again, again, like, you know, I'll pull into this dumb. Th hey, look at all oh, these boy. dumb things on the map. They all got to lead to something. It might as well be <laughs> nine different upgrade currencies. And so, you know, right. uh, the, the only concern is like if you get way later into the game and you're like, oh, I, I'm not powerful enough to do this. And then I, now I need to backtrack and go get 30 Ambrosia yeah. or something like that won't be fun. Yeah. Um, but there is fast travel once you unlock. Right. Um, Wait, like why the is rent, this? Okay. vantage points and stuff. All right, I just need to, like, oh, well, I don't. It's saying that my icon is there, but it's saying scout it from the statue. I think you need to climb up her. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, I think you're right below the hand. Oh, okay. So <laughs> the, the point is out, out at the end of every hand. Okay, that makes sense. I, I got to say, I was not super looking forward to this game. I am not a big fan of open Ubi games or Breath of the Wild, but all that considered, I kind of popped in here and I was having an okay time with it. I think that if I wasn't burned out on open world games in general, especially just coming off of Yakuza, um, I might honestly have put some more hours into this than I thought I would have. It's, uh, yeah, like I, I just, you know, I, I think from what they showed pre-release and, and the name change and just like a lot of the stuff, it's like, it's very easy, I think, to write this game off. And I, and, I, and again, we have not seen the narration style of storytelling that they use. That hasn't come up yet. And I oh, that yeah. almost drove me from the game in the first 40 minutes. Yes. Just like how terrible and unfunny I've, that is. I've skipped through almost every cutscene. Yeah, um, Jeff. After you unlock this vantage point, there'll be a dialogue scene okay. to yeah, fly the, over to. The the exchanges between Zeus and Prometheus are just like 
terrible. And it's like so much of it feels like something that like I wonder, like with all the menus, sorry, I just is there an audio setting for turn those fuckers down specifically? <laughs> um No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, it's a game that like should have a laugh track. They think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> right. They right. they think it, and there's so much of it. That's the other thing. Like, I would, I would be a. Here, I mean, here, it's here, not here, here as it is, pervasive. Here it is, here it is. For a fairy. However, its true identity would soon be revealed. So, what is it? Phoenix would need to free it to find out. Yeah, but you can tell me now. Can you please respect my narrative pacing? I cannot. I will not. <laughs> um, is, it, is it me or does it just kind of sound Italian? A little, yeah. Oh yeah, okay. super. Yeah, and so this game is very much like, oh, the gods just get drunk all the time, and and ha 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 ha, and and they don't know what they're doing. You know, like that's the tone. Which yeah. means it. I was telling Ben this, but it feels like a not like the prime time Nickelodeon cartoon, but like the one that would come on before it. Yeah, right. writing wise, totally. Like this like feels a, like a me. ugly Martian. <laughs> this is like a this is like a sub DreamWorks. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. This is for the sure. Crudes. <laughs> this isn't okay. Okay. Well, let's not say things we can't take back about the Crudes. Grug Crude. We we're gonna find out what happens with Grug in, in the Crudes two coming this Christmas. Wait, is, did I offend you? The thing is, like for a second, I thought these icons were on the map, but no, these are just icons I can see through the map. Here, uh, uh, that's funny. Um, I maybe should have listened to what he was saying about the, it being a piece of Nike because I don't know what I, I don't actually know what it's trying to show me here, other than I guess uh, I it wants you to find the other ones. Okay, and the map is uh, denoting where. where okay, yeah, that is what I thought um, it said, but okay. Yeah, so the, like I think you're totally you you nailed it with a Borderlands comparison. It is not as irreverent as Borderlands. It is not. There's not people talking to you at all times of every moment. In, of your waking life like the Borderlands 3 has but it's that same kind of like they might as well be looking into the camera and smirking yes dialogue. yeah this, I think that happens at one point though yes it, it, yeah I'm pretty sure that, that does uh, well I wouldn't know I've skipped through every cutscene all right for Ambrosia if I get two more I get one more piece of uh elf also like I'm sure it's not just like I'm sure in a vacuum I wouldn't I wouldn't enjoy the writing in this game, um, but especially like coming off of Hades, um, oh sure sure, which has maybe some of my favorite representation of gods in video games ever, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and even like God of War last year, like you meet one Still of the early characters. Hand, Don't jump off yet. Yeah, but no, I look at that. Sense. I can I can definitely cut those bushes down though. Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yes, that that definitely. And also, like, I think, like, the character of Phoenix and, like, when she meets Hermes and their exchanges, like, those are closer to being funny and, and a little more endearing mm -hmm. than the stuff from the narrators. And, and so, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, it just feels like they, if they had had someone get to them at mid, the midpoint of development and go, this is cool. You need to cut all of that narrator stuff because it sucks. <laughs> like, they would have had a better game. All right. And, uh, you know, we have satisfied the Ubisoft goal of climbing a thing, and then uh, I think maybe things will spin around. Uh, it removes all your gear for cutscenes, which I think sucks. That reaches up to the heavens. <laughs> the Hall of the Gods. No, yeah, we were there earlier. Eros's palace. Okay, all oh, right. Jeff, uh, Ben and I are playing on happy ending. ending. See, that's very funny for <laughs> Eros' palace. palace. Belonging to the uh, of what are you playing this on? This is an Xbox Series X. Um, oh. I'm spitting this out at 4K, but it, uh, you know, we're streaming at 1080, so it's you know, it's getting busted down somewhere the in there. But, um, as long as she's safe from prying eyes, I'm happy. Um, and it's uh, I've seen some tearing. For sure. From okay. Such great but uh, I think it looks pretty birds, nice overall. From the most How's the PC apathy? version been? It's been fine. Pretty good. I, I, yeah. I enjoy playing it. Like, there's, a, you know, a lot of, like, bow stuff you can do, and I like the, the mouse and keyboard with that. Um, 
that view from my uh, scanning for things is easier. Yeah, no, yeah sure. I've been finding that uh, as soon as I'll put this down, I'll think like, oh, maybe I'll just walk around more, and I'll pull my phone out, only to realize it's it's not Genshin Impact. No, nope. <laughs> cross saves. Um, so you can choose to go to that tree and talk to a scary apple tree lady. I mean, that seems like the... She like the angry orchard lady? Mm, actually, not too far off. Sweet. I love a cider. Yeah, I mean, I guess we you know, might as well keep along this path. Cause, so I guess like the other thing is I just don't feel like the side stuff has been very interesting so far. Uh, but it is how you get upgrade materials and, and, and items. So let's, let's just talk about items real quick here. Uh, now it's like inciting me to go into that first person view and tag things in the map. Um, so you can equip different swords and uh, it the, the swords will have different perks. So I only have one sword here, but you see I'm getting 33% bonus damage uh, when my health is full. And um, with this ax here, I'm getting this one, I'm getting 40% uh, damage after a perfect parry. Uh, and with this one, I would get 30% damage with axe combo while health is full. Uh, but you see that lock down there. Uh, I think if you, and I haven't gotten there yet. So th this is, you know, if I get these upgrade currencies and go back to the Hall of the Gods, I've upgraded my swords to level two here. You can see by this pip. And that basically just increases damage with any sword you have equipped. Uh, it doesn't, it's not like a per item thing. The items right. really okay. just change the visual style and the perks. Um, and so when I think when I get to level four on swords, that's when I could use that that second perk uh, that is that is on this sword here. And I don't know if that's a, I suspect that's a choose between them and not a you get both, but I don't know for sure. Okay. Um, and so there are upgrades for everything. You know, you see, I can upgrade my helmets, I can upgrade my armors, uh, I can, uh, my potion bag, I think I can upgrade. Yeah. Oh, Jeff, you didn't get a horse? You didn't get a mount? No. That's another thing you can do in this game. No, I saw that yeah, they were selling. Another thing I, you can buy. Yeah, I saw that they were selling mounts for money, and, and then I, you know, wasn't sure if that was something I needed to that was something you find in the story or if they were all for sale. <laughs> um, okay, so let's, uh, it, it wanted me to go into the far sight view here. So let's just see if, what? Oh, uh, it's another vault. So the vaults are be like a, almost like a. The shrines I, from yeah, Breath of the Wild. Yeah, but not, it, it, the ones I've done so far have been very straightforward and not like. Uh, especially engaging in the way that the shrines in Breath of the Wild were um, in mm -hmm. terms of just like, oh, this is like a fun new type of puzzle to solve or, you know, like, like, hey, I'm using the physics to put all this together. It hasn't been that. It's just been like, pull this lever and drop these boxes on these pressure plates and then that'll make the conveyor belt go and then do that. You know, it's very straightforward um, so far anyway. And uh... else on this island? Um to that island. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Two. And then this if they want down. you. Yeah, there's like a like an apple tree right there. Four hundred. Oh, uh, the... right there. Right here. Oh, that's not that far at all. Great. Let's try and fly. Let's fly. Fly, you fool. Oh, I hit the button oh. the second time by mistake. Now we're definitely not going to be. Yeah, I've had an okay time with this. I could see, like, wasting, you know, hours collecting stuff, marking stuff. Yeah, I, I just, it's, 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 it's okay, but I don't... A week off, yeah. It seems like a, a, that kind of game where you're like, I'm just going to play this all day, every day for a week straight. Um, but also, I don't think it's that... I don't think it's good enough to warrant that type of attention. Uh, no, I think there are better ways yeah, to do that, uh, better games to do that. Like, this game seems, like, okay, and there are enough things about it that I don't like. That it's uh, that it's it's kind of. Uh, I can't wait till you guys meet this apple tree. It scared me. I got to collect all this. It is the angry orchard? Suddenly, the majestic form of a wild. Yay. I don't like the faces in this game. Yeah, yeah I, hmm, I don't know. They're okay. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to be 
Uh, oh, Phoenix's Phoenix. face is fine. Yeah, Fe yeah, yeah and Phoenix is a created character, Pleasure so. Uh, make your acquaintance. So you have some choices there. Phoenix. Uh, sorry, hey, I'm just some bad. say that you're all the gods are created characters too, man. Oh, sorry, I got into the Oracle's stash yeah, earlier. And yeah, it's really. It's very funny. Uh, yeah, no, there, there's. I, someone in the chat just said it, and I, I've been thinking it. It's like. I keep waiting for all these characters to bust out DreamWorks' face. <laughs> so I guess, like, hey, that's cool that they've achieved a look that is like a, you know, a second tier movie. <laughs> style i guess <laughs> yeah uh, you know for a video game that's something honestly like i could see like a kid having a good time <laughs> i could see this being like a, a game online for on a streaming only cartoon for children Oh, that is no. somehow free on YouTube, and you watch it and go, it, "It's this is like just good enough to where I'm like, why is this free on YouTube, but not so good that uh, Jeff, I think you said it best on the Bombcast. Is that it feels like a B game? Yep. Yep. This is like a spiritual, uh, it's spiritual, it's like spiritual roots with like just a whole era of PS2 and PS3 games that you just that just came out, and you're like, oh man, so many games came out this week. There's something called Immortals, and like every name is super generic, and every and you're just like, it's another behind the back action adventure game, and you're like, oh, the Greek myth. Okay, yeah, I guess, I guess that's free, okay. huh? Um, and yeah, totally. <laughs> Uh, specifically, I told Ben if I couldn't make it to this quick look to mention that this game specifically, for some reason, reminds me of Haven Call of the King. Yep, sure. On the PS2. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I get you. Like, that ilk of game, absolutely, is, is all I can think about while I'm playing this game. Uh, is just like, yeah, no, this is like, like all those Dr. Mudo and just, like all this whole, like, you know, Midway put this game out. The the Ubisoft of that <laughs> era put this game out. Yeah. Um, I kind of like it more. Uh, Lucas put this game out back when they would occasionally, it's like, yeah, we mostly do Star Wars, but like occasionally there's just a thing out of uh, left field that you're like, I guess Lucas did this too. Uh, that Hercules game that I believe Lucas put out on PS1. But this is very much a B game in an era when like it feels like nothing's a B game anymore. That's definitely the story. They're still talking. Yeah. I'm sure that's how it went down. And so that's a good case of like Zeus interrupting and trying to tell his own story because he's bored or something and it's just... And it's it's interesting because like it is boring, and I do wish something would interrupt and, and make it yeah. more interesting. But it's not it's what Zeus is doing yes. is not doing it for me. Zeus popping up and going like, and then that was a monster. You're like, shut up, man, just shut up. And then it was small. <laughs> just kidding. Then the time to meet her turned that kid into a lizard. Aphrodite, sweet and charitable. No more mischief. Isn't that what you were aiming for when you married her off to Hephaestus against her will? Hey, now, it wasn't. I mean, they're still you know, going. Doing it for our own mm -hmm. Yeah. That has been my experience with Immortals Phoenix Rising is like, man, they are not only are they they are still talking. Oh, shit. Okay, I thought there was going to be an actual challenge there. Uh, not just... I, I will say, one up on The Legend of Zelda, a ton of different chest opening animations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just... it's. It, this game is a per prime example of bigger does not equal better, right? Like, more is not always a good thing. It's just... There's so much, but n I mean, granted, I have played maybe eight hours total, but none of it so far has been anything to write home about. Totally, yeah. Um, this is an acceptable time, uh, and and but like, you know, this game is for sale for full price, so it's just yes. along with a bunch of microtransactions. Yes. In yeah. the store. It's on Uplay Plus, I believe. 
if yeah, you that's, are uh, for that's, some reason subscribed to that. Yeah, if you were subscribed to that, then then that might be it. Matthew Rory is you play plus. Right. So this is a case where I'm, I'm trying to build up that second meter, um, that stun meter. Right, because then you can just wail on him. Right. Uh, both of you got pretty into Genshin uh, Impact earlier this year, uh, which is free. Mm -hmm. um, also has microtransactions. Uh, but like, I don't know, just I, I didn't get into that game. Generally, how, how would you put it up to this one? Because uh, they seem to be going for similar things. Sure. To a degree. I think I wound up liking Genshin Impact more because I I actually wound up enjoying the writing. Yeah. Surprisingly. Yep. That's uh, the same. It, it's it's I th I think that world is potentially more interesting. Um, but this is more of a standard video game. I feel like yes. Genshin Impact is like it, like aspects of that game, especially like the combat, are very flat in a way. Like just That's like, like hand, mobile friendly, yeah. Like hand on the sticks type of way where you're like, this is not interesting enough because they tuned it for mobile phones, right? Uh, and, and and you know the business practices of gotcha games, I can't get down with because I immediately wanted to drop money on it yeah. because I got that hunger here. Like you know, you can't just spend the sixty bucks and get the full package. Oh, uh oh. Jim, that's why I, that's why I'm scared for you to get Mahjong Soul. I'm scared of losing my soul. <laughs> oh man, I thought I dodged that, but I did not. Oh boy. So uh, in combat, you can parry. Um, it's got a pretty generous window. You cannot parry red moves, like if it starts glowing red. Um, you can also do like a last minute dodge. Shit. Well, it'll slow down time. I was curious what it would do. I this is the first time I've died. Reload later save is not a lot. is not what I thought it would do. Yeah, I, that's a that might be a more of a setback. Okay, okay, that's not bad at all. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna try and run up and dive in this uh rift here. Was, oh, I bet it won't let you. Yeah, I think you have to Oh, oh. oh I'm okay. glad to be wrong. Yeah. Everyone needs a break sometimes. Just loading over here. Uh, so this is. Uh, this seems like it is. Oh wait, a, a two a two horn. One of these. I've not. Uh, did two either, horns. Did either of you do the one that? You don't have the godly like, power that you need to access the chest. Oh, oh great. Thanks. boy! Tell me that before I go in. Yeah. Uh, did either of you do the one that's like rolling balls on yes. like two sides of a course? I. Hated that the ball physics in this game, like there were so many instances of you had to roll a thing down a ramp and then pull a thing so a thing lifts the ball up with the momentum and yep. it just like flew off the course every time. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I hated those puzzles in Breath of the Wild too. Yeah, like the, the stuff where you're like tilting the switch and stuff, like just. What would my brother do? Uh, kind of a hassle. So, um, yeah. I'm just gonna get out of this area. <laughs> oh man. Oh, you can dodge three times before it makes you uh, stop. So. These fuckers. All right. Let's just. Uh, I mean, I have a bow also. Arrows automatically recharge uh, over time. Oh, and you can do the uh, fun thing of guiding an arrow. Right, yes, I can. Uh... And there's a, a power for making headshots uh, cause explosions Why when you do that. Just... Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, I guess let's move on to the, the actual story objective here, if we can make our way over here. Kinda. And, and it, this is, uh, Assassin's Creed did this, where it's like, here's a, a user's screenshot i'll like that one because why not um oh i've earned enough coins upgrade my godly powers 
Well, uh, yeah. You can, that'll you take can us even back. Uh, then, then it'll be even longer to get to <laughs> where we're going. I, I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna keep moving. I turned those pop-ups off for that very reason. Just because I was like, I'm already in the middle of like three things. Please. Yeah. What is this up here? Is this a thing that I didn't see with my far sight? What is this? Just some pomegranates. What? It's always just pomegranates. Whoa, that's a lot of health bars. Oh, yeah, you can do the Assassin's bars. Creed guided arrow thing. Yep. Yeah, I did that a little bit ago. Yeah. You just love that mechanic, uh, then. I, I do actually really like that mechanic. I was, I was gonna say like. The bow in this game seems pretty bad, but when I started using that Assassin's Creed arrow, what's the, what, what, guided, let's just call it guided. When I started using the guided arrows and realized like I could fly them through a torch to hit a guy to do massive fire damage, oh. it got a little more interesting. Oh, see, I've only used that stuff for puzzles where it's like, you, you know, right. you need to do the Zelda thing of shoot the arrow through the fire uh, to light a thing up. So how fast, uh, Jan? You you found a horse. How do, how fast does that go? What? Oh. Um, it's a little bit faster than the dash, and then like the dash, or uh, the sprint. I'm sorry. Um, and whatever mount you wind up convincing to join you, because yeah. I just found like a random deer that I befriended, um, and that has its own stamina bar. Um, you, I forgot there was a sprint until you just said that. <laughs> um, you can like randomly summon the your mount which is neat um so say like you get off it to go do like whatever quest climb whatever thing jump into like the the shrine stuff uh you can just summon it out of nowhere and it'll come running to you or just spawn yeah. underneath you so that's cool um it from the little tutorial it gave when i was uh, acquiring the mount it looked like you could get almost any animal to be a mount. Huh. So maybe those friendlier bears or, or pigs in the wild will uh, be friendlier. Or you can use them as mounts. I'd ride a pig. Sure, why not? Yeah, hell yeah. You kidding me? Oh, no, he is actually. Man, I just found out one of the one of the wombat farms I follow on Instagram also has pigs. Oh, man, game changer. I thought for sure that dash was going to dodge that, but it did not. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, you can uh, magnesis those rocks, Jeff, and throw them at the oh, second. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah, does that do a lot of damage? Okay, all right. Let's, let's give it a go. Yeah, it, do, it, it, it does, and then I like that it like splits off into little ones, too. Um, you can hold... To kind of get a yeah. little arc. Yeah. That's decent damage. Hey. Threw it at his butt. That little one did quite a bit as well. I might be misremembering, but I feel like I threw a rock at a guy and it canceled him out of like an attack animation once. That did just stagger Oops. him when I hit him with that. Yeah. So. Like, I, I, I think the combat is probably the most... Uh, the cool. best executed part of this game, and it, but it's like not anything new or revolutionary by any means, but it's it's a solid like iteration of yeah this kind of combat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm... I do think it's weird that you need stamina to lift the the magic rocks with right the magic to powers. use magic. <laughs> oh shit! Did you throw a rock at your rock? Yeah. Nice. Nice toss. Oh, that does stun oh, also. Cool. That's nice. Grandpa Euronos locked all the Cyclopes away with the other Titans, huh? Yes. Stop. He was afraid they'd overthrow him. Stop talking. There was a prophecy. Bored. Grandpa made the right call. Uh. Those things are an ice. <sighs> <laughs> Get it? 
the birth of Aphrodite <laughs> is a gruesome tale. Nothing gruesome about it. Grandpappy Uranus and my deadbeat dad Kronos had a battle so great. I'm just gonna assume that I'm doing the right thing here. Yes. That's okay. not all that, that was shows the... okay. During his surprise attack, Kronos descended on Uranus. When Earth was severed from heaven. It's like they decided, like, oh, this part where you're rolling the ball might be a little dry. Why don't we pepper it up with some lore? Hang on, there was no. At least they're not forcing you to walk. And Uranus caught it and flung it out to sea. I gotta say, after Hades coming out, it's probably a, a bad, or I'd say a poor choice to make a Greek mythology game. They, they couldn't have known, right? Like, I mean, it's, sure. Supergiant is small and probably working, both of them working on this game forever. Yeah, I mean, Hades has been out for, you know, in early access for quite some That's time. That's true. So yeah, it was I, announced like. That, but... But I mean, it's also not too far off from, I mean, Assassin's Creed lately has gotten into the gods stuff yep. in, a, in a decent way. So I could see it being like them just kind of going, well, the god stuff is, people liked when we did that in uh, Origins and Odyssey, so maybe we just keep going. It's a cool marble, Jeff. Thanks. I'm sorry, Pearl. I feel like the reflections on it could be better or perhaps Oh, ray no. <laughs> this isn't far enough. You need to go all the way to the ocean. Yeah, no, I, I gotta... It, it, it said like 300 meters or something, so it's, this is... Like, when I'm, when I'm holding the Pearl, it says where, the, where I'm supposed to be taking it. It's a decent chunk of damage. It's also pretty satisfying. Yeah. Oops. It is very funny. All right. Just 300 more meters this way. Oh, boy. Why well, would this? This leaves me feeling like maybe I did something wrong. <laughs> no, no, you didn't. Like, was there a better, more downhill way to go than this? Because, geez, I think this. I'm pretty sure this is the way I took. I just forgot there was that little fake lake. Okay. Ah, but what if you were able to just hurl this thing? Yeah, but I can't. It's not. It's too heavy to lift. Like the lift ability doesn't show. Sometimes this game feels like it is like Assassin's Creed Kids or something. Like it's kind of yeah. Um, you know, you, you feel you feel some ideas or mechanics or something that that may. I think you can just hit. Yeah, it with I just feel okay, yeah. The axle, the axle busts up the environment pretty good. Tactical advantage. Yeah. <laughs> Show that bird thing. Nice. That worked out okay. Yeah. Real dumb. Yeah. I wonder if you get anything for um, people liking your picture posts. Yeah, I wonder. Maybe maybe it's just like you get some 
some of this currency. Yellow shards, I can upgrade my carrying capacities. Boy. <laughs> Damn, son. All right, keep rolling, rolling, rolling. When they said rolling was DLC this what? week, I didn't realize this is what they meant. Come on. Hands up, no hands down. Okay, back up, back up. Now tell me what I'm supposed to do now. Oh, keep, uh, you have to oh, roll the pearl into the okay. ocean. Keep rolling? Okay, all right. Yeah. Rolling, rolling, rolling. What? Huh? Rolling, rolling, rolling. There it goes. Come on. That should have just broken. Ugh. This, do I have to do a thing? Oh. Hey. It made, it, made, yeah. it made a noise and everything. I wonder, as you progress through this game, if you can get as much uh, physics-breaking stuff as you could in Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Because that was always my favorite thing to watch, of people just fucking with a game. Oh, my. Gotta get this godly sea foam. From the sea foam, Aphrodite rose, full grown, beautiful as that same pearl. I can't take this anymore. Zeus, Gaia lied to you about how Aphrodite was born. Oh, yeah? Then tell me how it really happened. And Kronos, they fought. You can't be serious. <laughs> Fell into the sea. That's. Because Kronos cut off his... Uh, you're sick, Prometheus! Do not talk to me! With the sea foam secure... Ah... Uh, Phoenix resolved to return... Oh, and the to Animus Aphrodite over here. ...with the key to her freedom and the vault. See that? I'm not just seeing things, right? No, I, I see it too. I was just listening to what they were saying and... I was captivated. Well, that's your first mistake. All right, let's see if. Uh... Come. What? What? Well, at least since I went in here, I can now fast travel uh, to this uh, rift that I couldn't complete. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Goofy run. I like the little spinning. It's the same spin you get on the parries. Uh, oh, I'm gonna fall. Yeah. Should drink a blue juice. Oh, okay. Hey, look at that. They still chasing me? Oh, right? Yeah. Still playing the music. Oh, there we go. It's an epic journey. Constantly. I'd be curious, uh, you know, this game is out on Switch, and I wonder how it runs there. You've returned, you huh. sweet With it potentially you having these the Breath of the Wild-esque right oh, things, dear. I wonder if that would be appealing Please. to... The Switch audience. They're, this is completely single player, right? Other than like the social stuff? Yeah. Okay. Yo, I got blessed. Hashtag. Now quick. For the sea foam. My roots. The sooner I can move, the sooner I can expand my apple care. Did it work? Coming out of the foam, I was so <gasps> fabulous. No. There's too many godly creatures that need my help. It keeps me awake at night. Just mm -hmm. seeing their little beaks and bright eyes. You guys ever been on a ride with animatronics that are slightly unnerving? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is what this is reminding me of. Now. Sure, yes. Yeah. Like, they look mechanical. You've entered 
the Wraith Zone. I'll say the nicest thing about this game that I'm going to say is it got me to start thinking maybe I should give Breath of the Wild another chance. Is that a good thing about this game, or? Uh, it's the best thing I will say about this game. Come on, come on. You know who loves Breath of the Wild? My mom. Huh, she really? damn near 100% of that game, did all the master trials, all that. Yeah, your mom likes Breath of the Wild. Yeah, it's a game for moms. I can't say that, she also likes the Resident Evil 4. Famous game of all time. Pokemon Go as well. Yeah. You and my mom, are you guys Pokemon Go friends? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. She needed a Pokemon Go friend to like get some sort of trade thingy, and I was like, I got you. I I have a Pokemon Go fanatic in my life. Besides your mom. Yes, yeah. Man, Wraith Zone, Wraith Lair, this is serious. <laughs> Like, if they didn't try to do, like, stoner humor and, like, the, the kind of double entendre stuff, this almost right. seems like it should just be a kid's game. <laughs> yeah, which, like, honestly would be an interesting approach. You don't see many, like, triple-A... I mean, yeah, you yeah. don't see a lot of video games specifically that are like, we really wanted to tone this down and make it for kids. And even with that stuff, like... You know, I played stuff with double entendre and yeah, sure, yeah. sex jokes yeah. and stuff as a kid and just stuff that went over my head. Like, I could totally see a child loving this game, but then I would also point them at, like, one of a dozen other games that do similar things that are probably better. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. This, this dialogue and all this stuff is just... Oh. Bad things like, coming. I can't imagine the modern child no being able to sit through no this. The modern that. child. <laughs> These Zoomers. I mean, they don't even have time for turn-based worms. They're not going to do this cutscene. <laughs> worms rumble no good, huh? It's okay. Jan, don't lie. Or, I guess, like, <laughs> it's rude no, to lie. Is it just, is it a bad game, or is it just not a worms game? It is not it's a, a bad game. game. It's a game I had fun with playing with Jason and Jan on stream that one time that I will never touch again. Okay. It's okay. Uh, is, is it this just, might mean is, something to you. Uh -huh. It's Soldat. Okay. Yeah. That's that was actually going to be my question. It's like is, hearing that it was real time worms. I'm like, that's just Soldat. Yeah. Yeah. Where did you come from? Behind you? Does it matter? Don't worry about me. Focus on finding another way to shrivel that root. So what? Saltier, more mythical water? Actually, wait. What about Aphrodite's tears? Didn't she cry at the death of Adonis? They'd be salty and powerful. You really know your mm. stories, kid. Her tears just might work. If you put them directly on the root, blocking off her essence. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now, where did Typhon hide them? You should search the vaults of Tartarus nearby. There are three crystallized tears. Oh, I don't want to do this. All hey, right. more more things to keep track yeah, of. Yeah. Please hurry. Until Aphrodite is back to herself, who will I talk to about whatever this I is? I like when I, by choice, decide to make physical lists or documents and for a game. That was, I feel uh, like... That was an okay joke. <laughs> I feel like I would... This, this is almost forcing me to do it. Crying shame. That's good. This is just a glowing thing over here. I gotta, I gotta go see it. Hey, what's up with this glowing thing? I don't know much, but I know if you got a video game, you got a glowing thing. I should at least go look at it. You got that glow? Oh, this is just, this is just 
a bunch of the upgrade currency. Well, got that glowing thing. Okay, where's... Okay, at least they're all around the hall and we can go back there and we can do some upgrades. That's fun. The game yeah. has a slightly longer loading times than I would have uh, liked here. This uh, again, this is for people joining us late and they're watching live. This is the uh, Xbox Series X version of the game. I haven't seen it running anywhere else. I know you guys have been playing on PC. Uh, load yeah, times are very short. Runs runs well. Yeah, I, yeah. I wasn't getting any hitching or tearing or anything. Okay, what did it say? I had enough. Burning a hole in your pocket. I don't even know. Uh, coins. It said I had enough upgrade points to get some stuff, but I don't know which. Okay, no, not here. Not any of these. Oh wait, I think it said you, you had enough coins, perhaps. Yeah, I do have enough to if I want to upgrade helmets or armors. But not enough for any of my weapons. That's okay. I could still. I could probably use. Uh, some more uh, defense. What's the perks list for that stuff? Okay. More sword and axe damage. That seems... Okay. This There's no upgrade there. Get that one first. Upgraded. Helmets. Uh. Oh, right. Coins. I have enough coins. This stuff. This menu. I, yeah. So you've got all your basic skill stuff and your godly powers. And, uh, you know, this will be stuff like, you know, you get dodge uh, by default. Right. But then, mm -hmm. hey, if I want to do this stuff, I can, you know, make it so I strike on a dodge or I can you know attack out of a dodge or do five dodges instead of three um I got the climb I get I think like you I got the climbing leap first because like well I need to climb stuff faster because this yeah. is too slow yeah. um swim faster automatically collect everything and then you've got this separate menu I don't think yeah I don't have enough points for anything here uh but this is where I got the uh, launcher, only to find that on the sword menu there was a regular non-special launcher uh, that you could get somewhere in here. Somewhere in here. But I don't, I don't want to waste my coins on swim faster, hold more, or pick up more things. Like, I want to save it for meaningful stuff. For, so, yeah, yeah, like the good stuff. Do I have enough? I don't. I did not get any more lightning bolts, so I know I don't have enough here. If I walk over to this PSP-looking thing, uh, that's uh, okay. I just need six ambrosia. I only have four. So I guess that's it. Are you in the market to buy? Uh, when you complete the things that were on that big time, like the the timed quests and all that other stuff, you get this currency, and I guess that's where you would get. No, the horse stuff, looks sad. Sad looking horse. I ain't got no horse. Uh, and then you can you want to change your appearance. You can do that. I think there's an achievement for doing it, but you know, whatever. Um, why don't we set off and maybe do one more thing? Let's. Uh, oh wait, blessings. Oh, okay. This was the thing. This is new. Okay. Presumably, those are the other three gods, right? Yeah. Oh, right. Like you'd get, like the other movement abilities in Breath of the Wild after befriending the people. Do you think there's a sexy fish in this game? I hope so. That's why. I'm yeah, here. and they're gonna be like, Do, uh, does it? How do you? How would you even have sex with it? Zeus will find a way. Ha 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 ha! Laugh track. Yeah. Let's go to this one to the south and, and see what's up. Because uh, if these are in vaults, then these will be vaults that we could definitely do, and it won't be the thing where it's like, you don't have the power to do this vault. 
close enough that we can probably fly most of the way there. Yeah. Fly, you fool. But yeah, I'm torn. Like, I, it, like there's, there are aspects of this game that make it so easy to tear into it, but it is not without merit. Like, there's... This, this game's okay. It is very okay. Yeah. Yeah. Was Haven good? Uh, Haven's a weird one because the run-up to Haven's release, it was like they pitched it like No Man's Sky. <laughs> it was like you can get you you get you're on the planet and then you get in your ship and you take off and you just go somewhere else. And it was it was Phoenix like kind of that same pitch the and God and then it, the game got delayed a bunch. War is not and, unlike the one that uh, mauled Adonis to death. You sure Adonis wasn't bored to death listening to one of your stories? That is very funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I, Haven... I remember not making good on that promise. Uh, <laughs> the way you wanted it to. But like all the early videos of Haven were, were very much like a dude getting in a spaceship and taking off and flying somewhere else. And Some sick cornrows. Yeah, exactly. And so that's, that's kind of why the initial No Man's Sky pitch was really funny because all I could think about was Haven. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so wait, wait, is this not the... Something here, but it's that's okay. But that's 800 meters away. That's not useful. I found the map to be not great. Uh, I guess I'm just in the quest zone and I need to find these, or maybe there's an actual vault to go into. If you had an upgrade, you would only have to press the button there once. Oh man. Nothing here to push right now. Oh, yeah, okay. Problem solved. No climbing. These remind me more of the Genshin Impact like dungeons than the yeah. Zelda shrines. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's fun. Yeah, this is fun. Balls. Go on. Uh, that could be fun. Boom blocks. Is this fun? No, actually. The boom blocks was fun. Boom blocks was fun. Steven Spielberg's boom block. Boom blocks. I'm not even sure what if I need to do this, but I assume I need to do this, but... <laughs> You probably would, need to do it. I would love if this was just like a tutorial thing that you didn't need to do. Right. I'm guessing you need to get that ball on that little circle down there to the bottom right. Uh, no, because there's, there's another... Oh, yeah, maybe I need there to get There you go, there's yeah. the wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. This is what I was talking there about. There we go. This is the one. For the game being this horny, you would hope it had better ball physics. Is it? There's a lot of double entendre jokes. Come on. It's not as horny as Hades or something. But... Okay, yeah, you lit that up, and now you can go to yeah. the top over there. I was just doing extra balls. A little extra ball play, just for good measure. Wait, I can go to the top over... Oh, I can go here. No, this is where they spawn. That is not where I want to be. Uh... It lit up that thing up there, but do I... I'll shoot this, do I? Maybe I do. No. No. I think that's a uh, respawn thing. Like a checkpoint. Yeah. It's like, hey, you've on. activated the thing to progress. Progress. Go. Move forward. Maybe I need to take the air. 
over. Or just do this, I guess. <laughs> And Scrad in the chat. The great joke. Shouldn't be Sisyphus be doing this? Fun, fun stuff. Yeah, it's good. It's good stuff. Good stuff. I should probably need to get a ball here, though. Nah, I think it'll be fine. You can just use no, this to I, glide over. No, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't. I don't. I'm not getting any extra air here. You gotta um, hold the glide. Oh, just the glide, not the. Yep. Okay. Okay. Look at that shark head. Yep. Yep. Still doing this. I like fun physics the... puzzles in games, but uh, at some point... Yeah, I think you nailed it. You like fun physics puzzles. In yeah, games. yeah, and well, I feel like that bar only gets higher, right? Everything past Half Life Two, you know, sure. you're kind of like, well, okay, physics and games is a thing, and but like, we're starting to see it more and more post Half Life Two, and now you've got to be really good with it because all games got physics. Most you do it? Oh, you did it! Oh, I did it, and then that went up. Okay. I played the sound. There's usually like a hidden chest in each of these I've found. Yeah. Yeah, it seems to imply that like, hey, you could maybe come back into some of these. Um, if I were hiding in a chest somewhere, I'd put it up here. Switch up here and everything. Oh, oh so you could get the balls. Mm. Yeah, you probably glide up there, and that's the chest. Yeah, if I can get a ball all the way up here. Can you, you can lift it from a certain distance, too, yeah. probably. I would do the same if I could do that. Yeah. Just for fun. Yeah. Like, I need to nudge a car over a bit to fit in a parking spot. Oh, I had it for a sec there. Oh, it went out. Duh. All right. Give me that ball. Give me that ball! Give oh. me that ball! Oh, it looks like there's another vent right there, Jeff, to your right. So maybe... No. Oh. Mm. Uh, can you turn no, that that's... one off? Oh. Yeah. No, I don't want to is move. Is it too heavy to lift? No, I think I can... It is. It is too heavy to lift. Go get out of here, ball. Go do whatever that's going to do. Oh, I guess that's what I did to solve the puzzle right <laughs> the first time, huh? Oh. Didn't even know that. All right, fuck it. All right, I've got a life to lead. Okay. Balls. You're really taking these. You're really going balls to the wall, Jeff. That's right. Balls deep of oh, glory in this puzzle. Balls of steel. Steel.
probably just need to clear these uh, blocks off of these uh, platforms here so I can use them for jumping. This is more of this than I want to do. <laughs> Why not? I <sighs> nudged it. This really is a video game, huh? Yeah, they super made a video game. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Seems hard. Do you want to know? Yeah. You think okay Jeff in your opinion do you think Ben and I could learn how to make a flash game in time before flash goes away um maybe with our combined expertise in Photoshop Shit. and and, and, and uh, other stuff yeah well By yeah like, I mean you know like making the assets is like theoretically the easy part right you just need to be able to right. code the you know you could use use just you know, triangles and squares and whatever. You, want. you can use Game Maker. There's plenty of good games made on yeah. Game Maker. Yeah. All right, Ben, what if we make a Mahjong game? Okay, go on. But you have to unite the little four wins and the big four wins. It's like a, it's like Battle Chef Brigade where it's half, it's half uh, Mahjong, half Dungeon Crawler. You're like getting the pieces as you fight. Oh, I like it. I like it. 50 runs drop into an island. <laughs> I'm looking at a list of game maker games. There's a lot of really good games on here. Hotline Miami. Oh. Downwell Forager. Yeah. No, a lot of, yeah, like Nuclear Throne is a game maker game, isn't it? Yeah. Nuclear Throne. Nidhogg. Nidhogg 2. Risk of Rain. Undertale. Oh Wait. shit. Here, Phoenix found the tear that was <sighs> the tragic <sighs> That was one of three. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I was about to say, Jeff, I'm really proud of you for finishing right, this mission, right. but she was sad. I get it. I'm really proud of you for getting a third of the way through this mission. I mean, I assume the other two will not be balls-oriented, but the idea that there might be a hidden chest in here with some item that you might want to come back in here and get is just like, come on. I mean, of all the missions we've done today, half of them have been ball-related. What is the Aphrodite Maybe section? Maybe less than half. Though a boar may have bested the mortal Adonis. All right. <laughs> the by did not best our mortal hero. Well, there's a, there's a chest here close. Enjoy so let's just go see what's in here. Except Run over here and see what's in here. Uh, but, you know, there are little challenges and, you know, side, uh, like, like, hey, run to this point on the map in a, you know, fast. <laughs> like those sorts of things. Um other little challenges here and there. Oh, is this? Uh, wait, I think under me. Oh, it's it's under me. Is it? Do I have to do some fancy flying? Oh, I just. Oh, it's right there. Nice. That was good. That was cool. Oh boy, join the creed. You get it? You did yeah, some stealth I, attacks. I love Creed. Those guys are always sneaking up on me with hot new records. And great songs that I love. 
Okay, so... I mean, you're a Scott Stapp stand, and... Yeah, yeah. It's just one of those things you gotta know about Jeff. Man, they haven't put out a new album since 2012. I know. Oh. Hot Creed knows, though, in November 2020, drummer Scott Phillips announced that... Ability. I feel like that's probably just the drummer saying that so people would start demanding it and he could get paid again. All right. Uh, okay, so we got a new helmet here. This uh, increases damage when stamina is full. Hmm. That'd be good for stealth attacks. Yeah, I feel like stamina is usually full when you're fighting. Uh, what drains it? Parries? Parries um, using your like rock throw thing. Right. If you're like sprinting at all. I feel like uh, just plus 11% like 11 with the sword is probably like something I would use more often than 11% with stamina full or 11% with the axe. But, you know, hey, if you got to collect everything, I'm one step closer yep. to catching them all. I can't get over the fact that there's eight currencies in this game. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh... Yeah, what hey, is, you should is be it? fine. If you if you die in fire, you should come back, right? I I would think so. Uh, yeah, no, you are literally right. It is it is eight? But like, I, <laughs> those four are serve a similar purpose. They're all spent in the same place. Potion pouches. So I think that mean no. So you know, I, I assume once you get all the ambrosia, you're eventually gonna have a whole lot of health because uh, the maximum health refill is fifteen chunks. I have four. Oh um, boy. And stamina, similar deal of uh, refill up to six, so you can get more stamina as well. Of course. And, uh, you know, that's. Take that, fucker. I don't even know what this is. I don't know what that is. Yep. Ghost. That's Immortals uh, Phoenix Rising. It's out on a bunch of stuff. It's on Amazon Luna, whatever that is. So. Yeah. There's a free trial in Stadia. Oh, all right. Yeah. It's on the Switch and old Xboxes and new Xboxes and Playstations of all stripes. And uh, and the personal computer, even. So you can get it out there. I'm going to say thanks to you guys and then hit, hit stop on this. and then we'll, But we'll still be live. I always say thank you to you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>